Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Today I wanted to show you guys my everyday skincare routine. Well, my everyday updated skincare routine because a lot of things have changed in my skincare. And yes, if you're wondering, Sade, did you straighten your hair? Yes, I absolutely straightened my hair. I definitely needed like a little change in my look. So I got a silk press. I did it at home by myself. So yeah, I did get like a change of hair. Do you guys like it? I like it, but it is a little cold older in LA and it just stopped raining and I don't know if it's gonna rain for the rest of the week so I'm trying to <laughs> avoid outside because you know as a natural babe and you press your hair especially when you do it at home as the wind a little bit of moisture get on it it goes back to its natural state <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid going outside when I do I wear a headscarf so yeah so let's get into the skincare so I normally double cleanse and I did a cleanse in the shower already so I'm just going to do a second cleanse now before I get into my cleanse I'm just gonna put on this glossy like hairband just to keep my hair out of my face and closer to its straightening state now I look like the nanny Fran from the nanny oh my gosh okay I mean this is as cute as I think I'm going to look right now I don't know I don't know I wish I looked a little cuter in this headband though it just made me look instantaneously like the nanny and not in a good way because friends normally a hottie. I look like her bad hairstyle. Okay, so that's good. So guys, I've been using some new products. I'm going to show you guys the products that I've been using but today I'm just going to quickly go through my everyday updated skincare routine because I've been loving all of the products that I've been using and I don't know man, I've just been, I've been so excited to show these products to you guys and I'm just folding up my sleeves here so that I don't get water all over my sleeves. My lips look a little dry, maybe I should start off with my lips. Oh, I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna do a second cleanse set. Right after that, I will certainly do something with these lips because they do look a little chopped. One of my beauty secrets is definitely to drink lots of water. I try to drink as much water as I can. Some days I succeed, some days I don't, but beauty tip and beauty secret 101, water. Good, healthy food. I am vegan. I know there's a lot of unhealthy vegans out there that eat a lot of vegan junk food. I try to stick to whole foods and I am on a vegan keto diet, so minimum junk food i do have a cheat day where i don't go to like the extreme end of the spectrum but i still try to stay like whole foods and try to keep my sugar and carb intake low but i have some liberties i give myself some liberties just in case i need to go out you know i try to make life fun because while I do have discipline, ooh, I also like to have some fun. First things first is I've been loving this kale, green tea, spinach, vitamin, superfood cleanser from youth to the people. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys know how much I rave about my all about that clean liquid face soap from Clinique and it is my base skincare. This could easily take over this because while this feels clinical and like there's like skincare benefits in here, this feels natural and like, it just feels good on my skin. I love the smell of it. It's the same consistency as that one. I've been like, look, look at that. I've literally kind of like finished that and I got my nails done. So if you see a little yellow tinge on my nails, it's because I got freaking turmeric on there because I've been making scrambled tofu, which is like vegan scrambled eggs. So I got like turmeric stains on my nail. Turmeric and curry just don't know how to stay quiet. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so I have about that much of the cleanser in my hand and I did cleanse with my, my Vanity Planet cleanser once in the shower. So I'm not gonna bring out that brush because it's not not looking so great. So I tried to lather it in my hand and I'm just going to go right into it and get that on the face, on the skin. I think they say that you should lather your face for about 60 minutes just to get the skincare benefits from your products. So you can do that if you'd like. Normally I brush with, I cleanse my face with a brush but I did that once already and I don't like to add too much abrasion to my skin, especially on days when my skin may feel a little bit more more sensitive okay guys so I finished cleansing doing that second double cleanse I'm gonna grab my washcloth to pat my face dry 
Decisions, decisions. Blue washcloth or white washcloth? Blue, white, blue, white. Hmm, I think blue would be nice on camera. Let's do blue. Guys, sometimes the smallest decisions can be the hardest for me <laughs> in my everyday life. I swear, it's so hard. Sometimes, like, little decisions just become so overwhelming for me. <laughs> it's quite comical, to be honest. Very comical. So, after my cleanse, I normally go in with my, with a toy. Whoops, I keep my cloth right above here. Okay, so now the skin is looking clean. The skin is clean. We're looking a little dry, so we're gonna bring some color back into the complexion. I ran out of my Carfine lotion, so I'm just gonna grab my travel size in my travel bag, just so that I can like, cleanse. Running on a lot of things. So this is my clarifying lotion. I still use this to this day, even without using my regular cleanser from Clinique. And I wanted to ask you guys, have you guys been watching my content? I've been a little bit more consistent these days and I wanted to know which type of content do you guys prefer from me, you know? Are you guys enjoying the fashion content? Are you enjoying like the self-care, self-development type of content? Are you, if you're vegan are you enjoying the vegan content if you're not vegan are you still enjoying the vegan food content because no matter if I post vegan recipes you know you can still make it your own and add eggs or meat or whatever just because it's a vegan recipe doesn't mean that you have to become vegan just take the value from what I'm sharing and make it yours you know that's what life's about is ensuring that you're not lost in the crowd and making things unique to you you know so yeah, so I wanted to I want to know like what kind of content you guys are enjoying and let me know in the comment section of this video Like what content are you enjoying from me so far and what kind of content would you like to see from me? Because I'm still I know fashion. I know the, the algorithm is push, pushing my fashion content and you guys know I love fashion So I will be making lots more of those and trying to make those more regularly But um, yeah, tell me what kind of content you guys are enjoying So now I'm gonna go in my keep your balance toner for from e.l.f. I just have it in this travel size one that fits nicely in my little medicine cabinet here and I normally just like rub it in my hand and tap that into the skin. Sometimes it dissolves right away and as you can see the skin is now looking a lot more bright. Let me take that down to the neck and then I soon after go in with this nice and my brightening toner from Good Molecules and I just drop a few bits in my hand and I do basically the same thing. I pat that into the skin as well just to quickly absorb that because my brightening exfoliating toner is really to exfoliate the skin and remove dead skin cells but these toner actually have skincare benefits not that that one does have skincare benefits trust me it keeps my skin really clear so yeah and then i go right into my vitamin c serum i still use this one from the ordinary this one has um ha sphere i'm not sure what that is but I, all i know is that this is a really good vitamin c serum i don't know what ha sphere means. I guess I gotta look that up. But I was actually watching a video on, I think it was TikTok, TikTok or Instagram and a girl was testing out vitamin C serums and that one was superior and it won and it was the most affordable one at that. So you know I went to Ulta and I picked it up real quick. After that, this is a new product that I've been using. This is the Super Balance Hyaluronic Acid with, with vitamin B5 and I've been loving this product from Glossy. Oh my gosh, you guys know how much I love Glossier. I absolutely love Glossier. If I should choose a few makeup brands to describe my unique makeup style, it would be Glossier, Pat McGrath, Patrick Ta, and a little bit of Fenty. A little bit of Fenty and Elf. Definitely Elf. So I just rubbed that in. I love Elf products. I would still buy Elf products if they were expensive. I just love the simplicity. It's cruelty free. It's vegan. The products work. I mean, one of my favorite moisturizers, the Holy Hydration Face Cream is from Elf. And my girl, that thing just, it just, it just, it gives me all the goodness in my skin. It makes my skin feel hydrated. It just nourishes my skin. I always, oh, I always go back to that. <laughs> 
Now I'm going to use this vitamin C plus caffeine energy serum. This is also from Youth to the People. Guys, I've been loving Youth to the People's products and this serum, oh my gosh, this serum is everything. It just brightens up my skin. It smells divine and it makes me feel, it just makes me feel like, whoa, you're up. Wake up, you're done. Okay, you're up, you're up, you're up. It smells so good, so good, super good. I love it. Now, what else am I gonna put on today? My eye cream. Okay, so you guys know I have a few different eye creams that I use. I use the Pacifica Vegan Collagen. I use the Elf Illuminating Eye Cream, but my new eye cream in my collection is this Dream Eye Cream smooth hydrate and firm from youth to the people and i've been loving it it's been doing it for me it's very smooth onto the eye it feels kind of bouncy when you press it or tap it into the skin it's hydrating i love how this makes my eyes look it doesn't make my makeup crease or anything like that i just love this eye cream now there's a palette that i love from elf that i've had for maybe three or four years that i used the other day and it has broken me out i need to throw it out <laughs> and that's why you see companies put 24 months on bottles or 18 months on bottles because after a while you use them you're gonna break out but I don't know guys I'm gonna show you the palette and tell me if it, this is not something to love and the only person that I see that has something similar to it is Pat McGrath and I'm eyeing and saving up to buy that palette now let me show you the palette okay so I don't know if you guys have ever seen this palette this palette is from elf it's called the aqua beauty palette and it has these beautiful colors look at that blue and that white and that like turquoise Turquoise. Oh my, this palette is everything and e.l.f. does not sell it anymore. I don't know why they discontinued this palette because this is such a beautiful palette. I don't know why they discontinued it, but I can't find it on their website. I only see the other one, which I also have, which I need to replace because that's also over four years old. But oh my gosh, this blue. I bought this palette for this blue and I've worn it even on this channel. I will link the video that I wore it in here. <sighs> Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And the thing about the palettes are is that the shadows are kind of like putty. So they're like moisturizing on the eyelids. They don't really crease, they just shine. Oh my. Oh, it just looks amazing. It just looks amazing. Amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Superfood Air Whip Moisture Cream. This is also from Youth to the People. I've been loving Youth to the People's products. I've been eyeing their products for over a year now, and I finally took the plunge. Now, I cheated on Ulta because um, I was in a specific um, shopping center in downtown, 7 at Fig, and they have an Ulta there, which the Ulta is fairly new. I don't think that Alta was there more than a year ago because I used to work at Mendocino Farms, which is in that same building. And there was no Alta next to there. There was like a restaurant that was there. And um, I'm gonna also put on my Grammatically Difference Moisturizing Cream. And that that's a fairly new Alta. I went in there to look at the Pat McGraw palettes because the Pat McGraw palettes are strategically at the front to, to reel you in. <laughs> <laughs> and when I went in there, uh, Selena Gomez's products are also in there. Fenty Beauty products are in there. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the Fenty glosses. Now, Fenty's also at Ulta now. But um, I went into Sephora and I saw you to the people. And instead of a Pat McGraw palette, which I'm saving for because I want to get a, like, a collection of stuff, I made the plunge and got the Youth to the people stuff because skincare, skincare. The makeup will not sit nicely on my face if my skin is not great, you know what I mean? So skincare first. Now I got this. I'm in love. I'm okay. Bef before I before I go that I, I'm I'm so excited to put on this oil that I'm forgetting my sunscreen, which is very important. I can't can't go without sunscreen and I can't live without sunscreen. So I don't know what am I doing with myself. Here. So let's put on sunscreen. Sorry about that guys. Sometimes my camera overheats and then it just literally just stops working for whatever reason. I'm actually going to add like another layer of sunscreen which is the Holy Hydration Face Cream with peptides, hyaluronic acid, and SPF 30. This is the moisturizer that I was talking about from e.l.f. that I love but this is not the original one. The original one actually comes in a baby blue container. This is the one with SPF. I'm not a big fan of it but it's my favorite moisturizer with SPF. I, I like to have my SPF like separated from my skincare, but 
Okay, fine. SPF, sure, whatever, I'll take it. Cause Alta did not have the regular when I went in there to get my regular stuff. But I like to put on as much moisturizers as I possibly can. As you guys have seen, I probably wear three to four moisturizers some days. Oof, I got some SPF in my eye. No, I hate when that happens. Now my eyes is just gonna run like crazy. Ugh. <sighs> Oh guys, did I show you my nails? How cute are my nails? I did like the Hailey Bieber inspired nails. The SPF is still in my eye no matter how cute my nails are. Okay, now that that's done, the star of the show is this Makai and Asahi Prickle Pear Goji Super Berry Hydrate Glow Oil. <sighs> guys, when I tell you, this stuff just makes me glow like fried chicken. And I just need to put on two drops, but just for this video, I'm gonna put an extra drop on my nose and on my forehead and on my chin because I wanna glow for you guys, okay? I wanna glow for you, babe. Ooh, I hope my eyes don't ruin this video running like crazy towards the end here because we're about to be done. And oh my gosh, this eye is just a little irritated. And that's why I don't like this um, cream that much is because I don't like when my creams have SPF in them. I like SPF and I like my cream, separate and apart. This is my favorite. The Shiseido. I haven't tried any others that I like so far. That doesn't give me a white cast, but look at my skin. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, I'm going to sort out my eyes and then I'll be right back because we're not gonna look uncute in the ending of this video. No, no, no. Okay guys, I am back and the last step to my everyday skincare is definitely for lips. I'm using this rosebalm.com from Glossier. And I'm just gonna sweep that over my lips. So simple, so beautiful. And it really just like hydrates the lip. Lovely. Now, you tell me, am I not just looking like somebody's mom? Okay, am I not looking like Bob's mom? Am I not looking like Bob's mom? Okay, somebody's hot mom, like somebody's housewife. Okay, somebody's maiden. <laughs> am I not just looking like that? Oh my gosh, and this is the skin, guys. My everyday updated skincare routine. 2023, had to give it to you because you know I'm all about the skin, guys. Guys, it's all about taking care of yourself, inside, out, skin, beauty, love, beauty in all places. Yeah guys, like I was saying, I'm loving my hairstyle. I, I really didn't have any plan with straightening my hair. I just wanted something different. So I did not even have like, oh, I'm gonna wear a bob or anything. I just wanted straight hair because we have curly hair so that we can transform it because we're the only people that can wear our hair. Kinky, curly, wavy, straight, all in one day, all in one day. Now I'm not saying that your hair is gonna remain how it naturally is and it may get damaged, but kinky curly hair is for transforming you know and I love to transform I don't like to always look the same and my hair is one way that I use to transform myself and to just like you know change up the way I look the way I feel change my whole personality and persona because we're moving up <laughs> so um ooh, it's getting a little hot in here so you know the hair is gonna start kinking back up <laughs> But um, yeah, this is the everyday skincare, guys. I don't wanna stay here and babble on. So from my heart to yours, take care of your skin this year if you haven't. If you've already been taking care of your skin, continue to do so. I hope I put you onto some products. I've been loving all the products that I've shown you. Every single one of them just soaks into my skin and nourish and hydrates it. I've just been loving this kale, green tea, spinach, vitamin, superfood cleanser. It has been, it is now a holy grail product in my daily skincare routine because it is just that girl. Another like memorable mention is this Glossier Future Dew. I normally wear this at nighttime though, but um, like all their products is good. Not to mention this resurfacing energy facial. It's kind of like a scrub with like little beads. It actually gets that dead layer of skin off of your skin. I've been loving the Glossier skincare products that I bought as well as the new Youth to the People products as well as my, my base skincare products that I've been using for years. I'm just, I'm living and loving for skin, darling. So from my heart to yours, and from this side of YouTube, peace, one love, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.